This is Comet Picks by the Glick. Yeah, I'm your host, Jason Glick. Hey, Jason, what's going on? What do you have on tap tonight? Well, it's like, you know, I was thinking about me doing this as like, you know, the best of um 2023 podcast, but nope. It's like, I, uh, it's like, there's like, I'm still like, you know, waiting on some stuff to arrive that you now as we're recording this on, it's like, like on um Sunday, January 21st, like there's some still some like, you know, last minute stuff I'm hoping that will arrive that they will actually offer me some consideration, you know, for what you know, is like the best of 2023, but we'll see how that goes. But as far as like, you know, other channels that, you know, like, you know, wrapped up their stories they were telling in 2023, well, we've got like a series that I've been following for a good long while now, and that is The Ancient Magus's Bride. Like that is a series that I've, that I like you know loved like you know like from from its inception by like manga called Kori Yamazaki. This is a series that you know like strives to in like like address like the whole like you know beating the beast like argument in the sense that you know like, there's a there's a character who's like who is like you know not like you know enti- entirely human but you know wants to understand hum- humanity. It's like and like it's like and a, a human character who is just like you know trying to trying to understand her place in place in the world that is a this is a series that i have loved since since its inception and its initial initial arc which is the like you know had um like um its character main character um chise hattori a slave beggy basically someone who is like able to like absorb as much um magic as she like as she can but can't but you know it is also like doomed to like a like short life because of it but who is like um like adopted like as a like it's like as a bride by this um by this character um it's like it's like it's like Eli it's like Elias it's like a uh it's like a uh, a a cat like a, a cow skull headed um like a magus who just like, wants to understand like humanity it's like even though it's like you know he's he lived like for like hundreds like of years like or even thousands of years like he's just you know trying to figure out just you know what you know, like, like what, and he wants to, like, you know, empathize with humans, but he just can't because he wasn't born, born that way to begin with. And the first um, eight, eight volumes of the series, sorry, the first nine volumes of the series, um, just to say, like, you know, like, like, I'm um, dug into their, like, you know, their, their relationship as, like, as, as it went on. It's like, you know, like, she say, um, like, you know, like telling, telling Elias about, you know, what it means to be human. And Elias, you know, like elaborating on to Chise about just his like um hundreds of years of like you know magical knowledge about just you know dealing with dealing with like like fairies, the fake fake kind, it's like and all like the uh like 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 the uh it's like the magical like um beings of this like of this world. Like like it was a uh, is a good is a good storyline. It's like it was thoroughly thir- 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 entertaining. And it ended with, um, say, with the uh, promise of like you know further story storylines being elaborated on from, like 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 from both of them because, well, it's like it turns out there's also a um an, an alchemist college like in this world as well because while um mangaka Kori Yamazaki is really good with the world building well she's setting herself up with like a um even bigger challenge like going forward for this next arc which basically lasts. Like you know, for ten whole volumes, it's like going forward because while um, like volumes one through nine were one story, volumes ten through nineteen are are one story as it's like as well. And it's basically like you know the story of um, you know Chise, you know attending this um like 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 this uh like this um like al- alchemist like alchemist college as a um. Like it's like as as a mage because she is it's like because you know, like she she's learning the ways ways of magic because that's how she how how she is, but at the same time though it's like the uh, like the like the um like the people like running the uh, alchemist college also realize that you know okay so you've got like this uh, like really special um ma- uh, mage mage apprentice learning learning the ways of things and also like this guy who is just kind of like you know. Really powerful, but also just kind of like you know, not real versed in the ways of humans, which is Elias. Um, just dealing with 
things as well. So it's like, like bringing them into like this, um, this, this um, college like environment is basically like a way to, you know, bring them under control, like, you know, so, so to speak, like, you know, Chise is just like, you know, just like working with like, you know, like all the other students and Elias is also like, you know, working with all the other, um, professors because like he's basically like also meant to be teaching them in the ways of um like um the mages as well and the thing is like you know while i it's like well it's a really it's a really good setup in terms of like you know like like i'm elaborating on like the uh like the story like for like for the for these characters it's like it's like it's also like it also lends like a lot of like um like in-depth world building as well because well, it's like from the start, we're told that um, there are lots of, um, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like, um, like, um, families to this, um, it's like, um, like to this, um, make, um, to this alchemist college, college as well. Basically, seven, seven shields specifically. Um, let's see, there is the, uh, like, House of Rose and Grieve. Like the beast tamers, House Saint George, the mouse monster tamer, monster hunters, House Rickenbacker, the healers, House Forsyth, the the diviners, House Hohenheim, the chemists. Wink, wink. Because I I say that because you know House Hohenheim is like, hey, wait a second, I remember, wasn't um wasn't Edward Elwer, Elric's um dad named um like Hohenheim um Elric? <laughs> yeah, that's that's just a thing. I I like I point that out as well. And also um House um. Nightingale, the Bards, and House Scrimgower, the Guardians. It's like there's all sorts of like, like, like um, like people, like people who are like you are like, like attending to the like the various um disciplines of the uh, like like, it's like of the various house houses here. It's like and there's also all sorts like lots of drama as well. Basically, you've got the uh like house saint george which is just like you know hey they're, they're the monster hunters but you know there aren't really lots of monsters to hunt as well and then there's like um like the house webster which i didn't mention but they were that's because they were killed in a uh it's like in a um like dr dramatic attack by um unknown, unknown parties and then they're it's like and they're um, attendant spiders, which were um, like key and like you know, replicating like in you know, various books, like were like were stolen, stolen as well. But basically, like this is like it, it's like this this whole like you know college arc is just like a chance for like um Chise, who is basically you know been you spent like the first arc just you know getting involved in other people's business and um like you know like barely surviving as a result. To uh, you know, you know, to like, get to know like you know the world, the, the world at large, and it's like and whatnot. It's like and it's, it's like it's it's really entertaining. Like it's it's fun to see like you know Chise just you know hey it's like, I gotta like, help help you out even though it's like I believe in what you're doing even though it's like I uh, I don't have like the uh, like like the skills we need necessary to save myself as well. So it's like it's fun seeing like you know her trying to you know get get to know everyone, such as um such as like one Zoe Ivy who is just you know hey it's like someone who like a, a person with like person with green hair and he and um he it's like and and a head and in ear in earmuffs who just, you know doesn't want to like, get to know her, but then you find out that oh wait a second that's because like you know. Zoe is like an actual Gorgon who just you know like you know just really distrusts um Chise, but then when they find out that oh wait a second you're you've actually guess you like like a uh, like a like a like a sire of like a Medusa type character it's like well you've got your own like you know like issues to 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 address it's like and that's kind of what like the, the uh, what what the whole arc of the series is like you know. Like is dealing with it, just, just you know, like uh, she's saying, just you know, getting to know the uh, like various characters and her classmates within the, it's like within the arc, and also like you know, Elias, you know, like getting to know it's like his his um his co compatriots as well. It's like just you know, finding out that hey, you know, it's like I can actually have like you know, regular friends as opposed to just you know, like my my bride who is also you know, that's 
that's a different issue as well. Just and you find out just you know more about just you know how um, Elias you know came to think of Chisei as his bride. It's like in like in this arc as well. Like it's interesting, and there's and there's a lot of good character building stuff here. But the thing is, I guess if there's like one um like um drawback to the, to this whole arc, it's that you know like there's a lot of like you know build up to like you know the actual story that's being told here and that's basically it's not really a story about um chisei or elias it's about um one of their um like one of chisei's um schoolmates and that's um philomena philomena is introduced as a uh as a member of a sub house and i know i mentioned like all this houses before but philomena is Man, is a member of House Rickenbacker. How, sorry, not, not House, House Scrimgower. Type. No, damn it. What is, what is her house? It's like, it's not House, house Rickenbacker. It's, um, Sergeant. God damn it. That's what it is. Basically, Sergeant is the, uh, is a, the espionage house. And it's being, um, lorded over by her, by her grandmother. Um, um, Elizabeth, and we're we're told from the jump that that um that that Philomena is like is subservient to her to her grandmother, um like Elizabeth, it's like who is just like you know determined, just you know, like saying, hey, oh, you're a terrible, it's like you know person, but you know hey, it's like you're you're determined, you're I'm put your part of our house, so I'm gonna like use you as for as far as like as far as I'm concerned, and. It's also and the uh, the real arc of this series is, is isn't about like um Chise or Elias. It's about Philomena. It's about Philomena just finding out just you know what that you know hey, it's actually okay for me to ask for help. That it's that you know even though it's like I've been I've been like you know like shot upon by my my grandmother and told that you know like hey, I that 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 I am just like worthless. And not a um, not a um, productive member of society. It's like I have my own worth worth as a person, and that's what the series, what the that's what this um, ten volume um arc of the series is really all about. And you know, it's like I uh, like to uh, to draw my um anime um knowledge as well. There is a, a series from way back in the day called um. Called Hanbane Renme, which also dealt with, um, you know, the character people, you know, just finding out, just you know, trying, trying to determine their their own worth with everyone else, and that in the end, like you know, they're like the main characters, like you know, ha- main players in the series, like basically had to determine that, you know, hey, I had to like you know, in order to like you know determine like my worth, I had to like say it was okay for myself just you know call out and say like i need help please help me that is basically what um this whole arc of nature magus's bride is about it's all about um philomena philomena and her uh like and her and her guard and her guardian and herself just basically like you know finally trying to say like, you know hey i am worthy of being helped and i need you know, who have promised to help me, help me as well. So it's, it's, I mean, on one hand, it's like, I think that's like, it's a good story to be told. It's like, and I think that's what makes the, uh, the story being told, told here, like, worth it. Because, you know, for the first, you know, six volumes of, of the series, it's all about just, you know, building the, it's like this, this world, this college and whatnot. And all the, uh, like incidental, like you know, like sub stories, like of this, like of this arc being, like being built up, like the uh, Webster tragedy, like you know, why was the Webster clan led by, um, now only represented by Lucy Webster and her, it's like and her brother, it's like you know, like killed, and and whatnot, and also just you know why, uh, it's like I'm um, right, Ryan Scrimgower, it's like who's like a childhood friend of um Phil Miller. Just you know, like determine, like you know, why, like why are you just you know determined to like you know like down downsell yourself and whatnot, and also just you know, 
what's up with the Rickenbacker clan who is just, you know, running the, uh, like a Sargent clan as a, uh, like as a, uh, um, sub clan, like to their own ends. It's like, you know, like what, what's their end goal as well? It's like there's, there's a, there's a, a really solid story being told here, told here about just, you know, being, um, you know, it's like, like subservient to like, you know, one desire and just like, you know, being able to act out your own desires as well. That's good. But if there's one thing holding this arc back, it's, um, it's the buildup of the villainous, um, like version of, it's like, it's like of, of the head of the Sargent clan, Lizbeth, who is just, you know, really, it's like, you know, mean and vile. And while we, um, do understand do are basically told like in um volume like 18 about why she's like this it's like it's not really enough to like you know excuse the fact that she's just like you know so mean it's like and um like derisive to um like Philomena. i mean by the end of the arc like we're kind of understanding like oh you know okay like you know philomena has got her own like you know life to live and all but it's just one of those situations where it's kind of like, oh, man, it's like, you know, couldn't she have just, you know, like, learned that she was wrong? And this is like, like, this is not the way to do things. And that's kind of like, you know, my big issue with this is that, you know, it's one thing to, just, you know, like, build up. You know, one character is like the main villain of this. And it's another just, you know, not, um like, you know, deliver them as much compass as the, uh, like, as the arc, arc desires. As the arc deserves, really, but overall, it's like I, I still, I still enjoy this. I mean, like I, like even when like the uh, like the Ancient Magus is bride is still just you know doing a lot of like world building, which is what it was doing like from volumes um like nine through uh, I'm sorry, to volumes ten through sixteen, really, like and it's just basically just you know dealing with like you know. Oh, hey, it's like, you know, like, she says, you know, like, like getting to know all the characters in the series, sorry, in, in this arc, and I'm um, like, you know, tell, telling them about, you know, what, like, how, how she, like, you know, deals with, like, the world going forward, and also, it's like, you know, when you get to, the, like, the, uh, the storyline doesn't really, like, you know, really catch fire until, like, the final, like, three volumes, like, volumes 17, 18, and 19, but, um, it's still... But it's still really quite good because you know it's like because um his um Corey Yamazaki is really good with the characterization, really good with the world building, and um when you get and even though like a lot of the stuff is like you're know, basically built on setup, when you get to that that those final volumes like it's oh my god it's so good, and you know just like you get to the like the whole like oh my god I want to see what happens next what's gonna go on, and. And when you get to that point, it's like, well, it's like, you know, you get a lot of satisfying, um, like, you know, resolution, but you also get, you know, like a feeling like, oh, well, there's also like, you know, more stuff to go on here as well. It's like, it's like, there's like more stuff to um, talk about with like the, uh, it's like, like with, um, who, um, like who sought out the destruction of the, the Webster clan and also what's going on with, um, like, um, Eliza's teachers, like Lindell. Cause he's basically, cause he's basically saying that, you know, Hey, maybe it's like, I don't want to, um, like work with the, uh, like with the, uh, like, like with the human, like, um, society as, as well. And also when you find out that, you know, who is like, you know, like, 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 uh, taking taking care of the, the testament of Karamagos, like the, uh, like the tome that was like so much, there was so much trouble in this arc. Well, it's like, you know, well, I think that, you know, like, it's, like, the series failed in just, like, you know, dealing enough comeuppance to its, to, um, to, to Lisbeth. Um, I think that the, uh, like, like, who is, like, you know, really, like, in charge of, like, you know, the bad stuff. Well, that's kind of interesting because, you know, like, she is, like, you know, leading things together with a smile. It's, like, in, in terms of, like, you know, who is, you know, like, you know, you know, do, like um, managing stuff for like the next, the bad stuff for the next part of the arc. But at the same time, though, it's like I'm, I'm very much invested in seeing where this where this um arc goes, and 
and even if even with its like you know issues in terms of like you're saying like who is the who's the bad person who deserves comeuppance you know for the sark i i was still really invest really invested in it and even though it's like i'm still like you know working looking through my you know list of like you know what is the uh, best of um 2023 you know maybe um the ancient magus's bride um the college arc will still find a uh a place on that list because it's like it like it delivered a, like some quality world building and it's like and some like you know quality drama to the, like resolution of its arc even if you know like i just kind of like you know had to wait a bit in order to like you know, find about find out you know you know who you know how this um genre would play out so overall it's like i really like the series i'm still really invested in where it's going is it um you know firing on all cylinders as um as it was in the first arc maybe not but there you go it's like i am like really like you know still want to know where um kori yamazaki is going with this next arc which could be the final arc but even then it's like i am you know still really wanting to know where it goes and in there's a lot of good setup to you know where it's going from there there you go all right well um interesting interesting indeed do you know what you're going to be talking about next time well i guess you know i put it off long enough so i guess you know even though we'll be doing this you know in february it's going to be on um, the best of 2023. So <laughs> there you go, everyone. Hey, that's the thing we've been waiting for. Cool. Finally. Sounds good. All right. Well, we're going to catch you next time on Comic Picks by the Click. Later, everyone.